is the book of Romans chapter 11, verse 7. What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Now, Israel consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American, and some of Indians. And the thing that ultimately our people are seeking for is a established relationship with the Lord and his son, not knowing that in order for that establishment to be a reality, you must be covered under the blood of the son of the heavenly father. And you must know the name of the heavenly father and his son and believe and have faith and have been mixed together and be predestinated before the world began to be saved, to hear the voice of your shepherd, to hear these words and be changed and conform unto the image of the heavenly father's son. So I'm not going to make this too long, but with that, giving all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, whom the world is ignorantly called Jehovah or Yahweh. And Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten Son, and whom the world has ignorantly called Jesus Christ, and whom we do worship. We are the Hebrew Israelites, which consist of you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native American, and Seminole Indians. To the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad, greetings given double honors. Unto my apostles, my elders, and my teachers at Great Millstone that are ruling well, and continue to do so, that taught me and brothers like me, and to the believers also this truth, this beautiful truth, beginning with the names of our power and of his anointed. Now these are the two most important things you will ever know, the name of the Heavenly Father and the name of his only begotten Son. <laughs> and in order to have that, you must have the gift of faith, and the Lord must uh, send down unto you his his uh his spirit <laughs> okay because the fear of the lord was placed with the faithful in the womb and the fear of the lord is the treasure of those that are chosen the elect the predestinated ones the initiated ones that the lord has revealed his mysteries and secrets unto which have been hid for ages and generations but now at this time has been Revealed unto his saints. Okay. The name of the Heavenly Father. The reputation of the name. And that name is. Yahweh. Yah meaning he. Hawa meaning exists or is or is to be. He is. He exists. He the existing one. In order to please him. You must believe that he is. And through that belief. He gives you the gift of faith. To approach unto him. And also he gives unto you the name of his only begotten son to call upon. For he is the middleman between us and our power, the doorway back to the father, even our savior, whose name is Yahawashai, Yah meaning he, Yahawashai meaning deliverer and savior. And that is exactly what he will come and do in physical form for the second time as an angelic force. And we shall be changed. Those predestinated, those one, I'm one of those men, and those that be dead, sleep, will rise and be with him. And those that remain will be caught up with him and changed and will fashion a body like unto the Lord's glorious body. Now, these are the things that the elect are going to obtain that the rest will be blinded to for a time. Begin with the truth and the power of the truth, the power in the names, the truth of the names, the proper names, the calling on the names, the promises, the glory, the honor, all these things, but it begins with the first fruits. And this is just a, you know, intro video. I have this clip, but I'm not going to play it in this lesson. I'll play it in another lesson, Lord is willing. But let's get this word in the Greek. And I'm going to get another scripture and then I'm going to close out. I'm not going to make it too, too long. Just kind of an intro. And Lord is willing, I call this lesson, obtain it, obtain it. Okay, let's get this word. Strong's G, 1934. Epizeteo. 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 It says to inquire for, seek for. All of our people, the whole nation is seeking for the Lord, his guidance, a higher power, a relationship with him, peace, hope, uh, uh, questions to be answered, a why this, a why that, to get the, the clarification, to get 
clarity, okay, in, in their life. But only the election is going to obtain that. But the rest are going to be blinded. It says, uh, to search for, seek diligently. Hey, but the Lord is pleased with them that diligently. See, he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. But there's one thing you must have. Faith. And that's what the elect will have. To wish for. A wish, a wish in, in a sense, is a prayer. And when you pray, you have to have faith. So the elect prayed for this. It was in their minds. And with that faith, that was the, uh, the what was the purchase made. The purchase was made. The transaction was good. It says crave. Yeah, we hunger and, and then thirsting for righteousness. As Yahweh said, you shall be filled. It says to demand. We had a high demand for Yahweh, but the supply was low in a sense because there was none truly teaching of Yahweh until our apostles, our elders, and their elders before them. And you have many false prophets now that know that they're Israel, but they're still blinded. They're not the elect because they don't have this, the essential thing, the name of the Heavenly Father and the name of His only begotten Son. It says to clamor for. So all our people are clamoring. All right, for the favor of Yahweh for the favor of the king, but the Lord judges. He tries the hearts and reigns, and the Lord has already had, uh, he already has his number that are sealed in the feast of the Lord, but his men must still go out and bid those to the marriage and those that come into the marriage. The Lord would decide who is good and who is bad. The bad would be cast away, but the good would be kept. Okay, to seek after, seek desire. We desire Yahweh and inquire of him. We crave Yahweh Shemashai, desire Yahweh Shemashai, acquire before his temple, at his temple, intensively. Okay. Now let's go here. Proverbs 21 and 20. I'm going to get in the blue letter and close out. It says, there is treasure to be desired. We have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency may be of the heavenly father, Yahweh, by Shemashai, and not of us. There is a treasure to be desired. And oil in the dwelling of the wise, and it's beautiful because the wise virgins had oil in their lamps. When it went dark and they were awoken, they trimmed their lamps, prepared, and the light came on. That's the elect. But the others, they were there too, and they fell asleep, but they didn't have no oil in their lamps, and their lamps had gone out. It says, but a foolish man spended it up. The two-thirds wouldn't know what to do with this truth at this time. Even though they're Israelites, they wouldn't know what to do. The elect knows what to do. They hear, fear, believe, and speak. All right? And that's it. Now let's get that in the blue letter. Proverbs 21, 20. Get the word. Treasure, if I'm not mistaken. And it reads in the NLT, the wise have wealth and luxury, but fools spend whatever they get. You don't want to spend this up. This is of great value. Now let's get the word uh, desire and then we go get treasure. And we go to the word there in the Hebrew. For desire is Hamad, H2530, Hamad, or is it, no, no, Hamad, so like it, Hamad, okay, to, to desire, covet. Now, there's nothing wrong with, in the sense of coveting, you just don't want to cover your neighbor or his things or his wife or his possessions. But if you want, if you desire something or have a lust or a craving for it, it should be for prophecy, it should be for faith, it should be for righteousness, it should be for good things, crave and lust and want good things, not evil things. It says take pleasure in, we take pleasure in this work, we take pleasure in this thing of ours, we take pleasure in the name of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shaddai is returning to us. We take pleasure in our culture, we take pleasure in who we are, we take pleasure in what is to come, we take pleasure in the judgments that are coming and in the promises that are promised. Okay, to desire, covet, take pleasure in, delight in, to desire, to be desirable, to delight greatly, desire greatly, desirableness, preciousness, 
the preciousness of this truth. A lot of people desire it, but cannot obtain it. And that's what we have. It's been desired. There's a treasure to be desired, this truth. But the treasure that we have is all encompassed in the name, the promise, the kingdom, the power, the glory. Going from faith to faith, that's that's it. Let's go to this word, treasure. The word there in the Hebrew is awatazar, awatazar, H214, awatazar, treasure, storehouse, treasure, gold, silver, etc., store, supplies of food or drink, treasure, house, treasury. Okay, we have everything we need. Let's go to this word oil, shaman in the Hebrew, H8081, shaman. It says fat, oil, fatness. Oil, olive oil, as staple. Medicament or unjoint for anointing. So we've been anointed with this oil as David was. His cup ran over. Our cups run over. Those women were those men. And we're being filled constantly. Without ceasing. You know. But that's pretty much it on this lesson. Just kind of like an intro lesson into a greater lesson that I'm going to do, Lord's willing. So, hey, with that, hey, Lord's willing, this was an edifying lesson. Let's read this scripture one more time and close it out. There is a treasure to be desired and oil, which is the truth, beginning with the names of our power and his son and the promises of the world to come and the glory that shall come hereafter and the faith that we're going to have going from faith to faith and the just shall live by faith. And through that faith, a mark you the perfect man, for the end of that man is peace, salvation. There is a treasure to be desired, an oil in the dwelling of the wise, which is the elect. But a foolish man spendeth it up. A foolish man wouldn't know what to do with it. Why? Because a foolish man believes that there is no God. You have to have the name of the Heavenly Father and His Son. Those are the key essential things. Call upon the name of the Lord and you shall be saved. Why is that said? Because it is of a grave importance. And only the elect will have such things. A true gift from heaven. All right. Called to sit in heavenly places in Hamashiach. Which gave us the name. And we were given unto him. It all interconnects. The name is essential. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and the strength of salvation, your treasure. All right? That's all. So with that, giving all praises, glory, and honor once again unto Yahweh, Bashim El Shai, Bashim Rakak Kadash, but whom we do function, double honors unto my apostles, my elders, and my teachers at Great Millstone that are ruling well and continue to do so. Salutations, peace, and blessings unto the hopeful elect and to that house of David. To your brothers out there fighting this good fight of faith, Shalom, and to these sisters doing that which is becoming of women, Shalom, and to those that are addicted unto this ministry, I say Shalom. Lord's willingness is edifying. Hey, obtain it. Beginning with the names of the Father and Son, the true and proper names, and through that, <whistles> nothing is impossible unto you. Nothing shall be impossible. For what is impossible with men is possible with Yahweh by Shemel Shah. So with that, Shalom, on to the next one. Shalom.